Council man. And the incumbent judge in Circuit 4 is Elizabeth Cure. And then the, we have Judge Valerie Houghton, judge for Circuit Court 8. Go ahead and be seated while I am talking about you. Thank you, sir. And um, Valerie Houghton has had a tough time of it in recent months as she continues to recover from a serious accident. And we are absolutely thrilled that uh, Valerie Houghton is able to join us here this afternoon. Yes, let's, <laughs> I know, she's up and walking. She's kind of out of that chair. Court three, and that is Alfonso Mann. Welcome. Thank you, and greetings. Um, I am Alfonso Manns, Democratic candidate for seat five. It's division three, but it's seat five on the ballot of the Merrill Circuit Court. My life's work demonstrates that I have earned your trust to be elected to the judicial office that I seek. I have gained the knowledge, experience, and wisdom to perform judicial responsibilities with competence and integrity. Upon my discharge from active duty of the United States Army, I received letters of commendation from my superiors. My executive officer, Major William S. Tuckerman says, as an intelligence officer, you have performed in an outstanding manner. You devoted many additional hours to ensure that the physical security of the battalion was always at high level of excellence. The outstanding results obtained by your staff section during the annual general inspection is certainly indicative of the competent performance displayed by you and your subordinates. My commanding officer, Colonel James P. Papili says, I also wish to extend my own appreciation for the work which you have ex accomplished and the outstanding devotion to duty you have exhibited. Your professional manner and the outstanding results which you achieved as the intelligence officer of this battalion are to be commended. I have demonstrated skill in dealing with problems in public affairs by engaging in an extensive study and research project some time ago for the Bloomington Utility Service Board, which led to the discovery of the toxic substance known as PCBs that created a serious health hazard to the community. The court system has grown such that judges must be able to deal effectively with administrative problems as well as to decide cases. Given the thrust of technology and electronic media into our society, the courts are finding means to utilize this science to more effectively and efficiently administer the justice system as we now begin to perform and prepare ourselves to develop our electronic filing network. We also need to develop protocol for use of electronic media and find means of utilizing teleconferencing as a practical means of communication between judges and lawyers. My extensive membership in professional organizations reflect the high standards of ethical conduct and excellence that I strive to adhere during the 34 years of my practice of law and community service. Many of my colleagues have honored me with the recognition of having a career described as consistent professional distinction by this demonstrating outstanding legal ability and devotion to the welfare of our community, the state of Indiana, and the nation, as well as the advancement of the legal profession. I desire to continue serving the political wheel in the role as a judge of the Merrill Circuit Court by participating in the ongoing process of shaping that vital institution and human artifact of our society which I like to call the American Cathedral of Justice. Please vote for me, Alfonso Mans. Thank you. Thank you to Alfonso Mans, running for judge in Circuit Court 3. And next, we have Elizabeth Cure, judge for Circuit Court 4. My name is Elizabeth Cure, and I'm the judge of Monroe Circuit 4, seeking a second uh, term. Six years ago when I ran, I asked for your votes because I believed experience matters. I had graduated from law school here in Bloomington with honors, and I had practiced law for 17 years. I had taught at the Indianapolis Public School System and in Mexico where I had lived for four years. I believed that my multicultural experience and my love of the law would make me a good judge. Nearly six years later, I know that all of these experiences do make for a fair and compassionate judge. I now have six years of experience as a judge, of showing up on time and getting my work done in a timely manner, 
In addition to my duties on the bench, I will graduate from the Indiana Judicial College next spring. At the Judicial College, I've taken courses in all aspects of deciding cases. Not only have I de um, studied the substance of the law, but also the psychological features. One of those features, impartiality, is a vital skill, and as with any skill, it has to be learned and practiced. Another important psychological feature involves children and stress. Children suffer under the stress of divorce, and such suffering shows up in many different ways and varied forms. At the Judicial College, I've studied the many and varied forms that this stress can take, how to recognize it, and how a judge can help relieve some of those stresses. People come to court because something's going wrong in their lives. Understanding the psychology of cases has helped me learn to fashion better, uh, uh, better. Thank you and greetings. Um, I am Alfonso Manns. Democratic candidate for seat five. It's division three, but it's seat five on the ballot of the Merrill Circuit Court. My life's work demonstrates that I have earned your trust to be elected to the judicial office that I seek. I have gained the knowledge, experience, and wisdom to perform judicial responsibilities with competence and integrity. Upon my discharge from active duty of the United States Army, I received letters of commendation from my superiors. My executive officer, Major William S. Tuckerman, says, as intelligence officer, you have performed in an outstanding manner. You devoted many additional hours to ensure that the physical security of the battalion was always at high level of excellence. The outstanding results obtained by your staff section during the annual general inspection is certainly indicative of the competent performance displayed by you and your subordinates. My commanding officer, Colonel James P. Papili says, I also wish to extend my own appreciation for the work which you have ex accomplished and the outstanding devotion to duty you have exhibited. Your professional manner and the outstanding results which you achieved as the intelligence officer of this battalion are to be commended. I have demonstrated skill in dealing with problems in public affairs by engaging in extensive study and research project some time ago for the Bloomington Utility Service Board, which led to the discovery of the toxic substance known as PCBs that created a serious health hazard to the community. The court system has grown such that judges must be able to deal effectively with administrative problems as well as to decide cases. Given the thrust of technology and electronic media into our society, the courts are finding means to utilize this science to more effectively and efficiently administer the justice system as we now begin to perform and prepare ourselves to develop our electronic filing network. We also need to develop protocol for use of electronic media and find means of utilizing teleconferencing as a practical means of communication between judges and lawyers. My extensive membership in professional organizations reflect the high standards of ethical conduct and excellence that I strive to adhere during the 34 years of my practice of law and community service. Many of my colleagues have honored me with the recognition of having a career described as consistent professional distinction by just demonstrating outstanding legal ability and devotion to the welfare of our community, the state of Indiana, and the nation, as well as the advancement of the legal profession. I desire to continue serving the political wheel in the role as a judge of the Merrill Circuit Court by participating in the ongoing process of shaping that vital institution and human artifact of our society, which I like to call the American Cathedral of Justice. Please vote for me, Alfonso Mans. Thank you. Thank you to Alfonso Manns, running for judge in Circuit Court 3. And next, we have Elizabeth Cure, judge for Circuit Court 4. My name is Elizabeth Cure, and I'm the judge of Monroe Circuit 4, seeking a second uh, term. Six years ago, when I ran, I asked for your votes because I believed experience matters. I had graduated from law school here in Bloomington with honors, and I had practiced law for 17 years. 
I had taught at the Indianapolis public school system and in Mexico where I lived for four years. I believe that my multicultural experience and my love of the law would make me a good judge. Nearly six years later, I know that all of these experiences do make for a fair and compassionate judge. I now have six years of experience as a judge, of showing up on time and getting my work done in a timely manner. In addition to my duties on the bench, I will graduate from the Indiana Judicial College next spring. At the Judicial College, I've taken courses in all aspects of deciding cases. Not only have I um, studied the substance of the law, but also the psychological features. One of those features, impartiality, is a vital skill. And as with any skill, it has to be learned and practiced. Another important psychological feature involves children and stress. Children suffer under the stress of divorce. And such suffering shows up in many different ways and varied forms. At the Judicial College, I've studied the many and varied forms that this stress can take, how to recognize it, and how a judge can help relieve some of those stresses. People come to court because something's going wrong in their lives. Understanding the psychology of cases has helped me learn to fashion better, uh, uh, better solutions for these uh, unfortunate situations. And it's helped me to do that with ever-increasing impartiality as I've studied the law. Besides attending the Judicial College, I've served for four years on the Indiana Judicial Board of, uh, Protective Order Board Committee. We have spent that time rewriting forms and the bench book for judges so that no one who needs uh, protection fails to get it because of the forms or because someone doesn't understand what the law is designed to do. Beyond the college and committee work, I've spent the last year putting together what I like to call the Re Release to Recovery program, which pairs newly released people uh, who are in jail for some any sort of addiction issue, which covers many of them, if not most of them, and it pairs them with someone from the recovering community and which times this release to coincide with a recovering meeting. Everyone who works in the system knows that the first hour after release is critical. My program is it make sure that anyone who wants a mentor gets a mentor and gets to a meeting as a, directly from release. This release in time for a meeting should help reduce recidivism, something we all want. My name is Elizabeth Keir. I'm the judge of Monroe Circuit 4. I'm asking you to reelect me so that I can continue my work on the bench, my study of the law from a judicial perspective, my work on the Protection Order Committee, and my work to reduce recidivism in our county. I'm asking for your vote because experience <clears throat> truly matters. Thank you to Judge Elizabeth Cure. And next, we have Valerie Houghton. Good afternoon. I'm Valerie Houghton, and this is my sixth year as a circuit court judge. I'm asking for your vote and continued support. Uh, as judges, we have been experiencing an increased number of filings, court filings, and a, an increased number of people who are representing themselves, especially in family court and in small claims. Right now, one of my primary caseloads is well, actually half of all the small claims in, in Monroe County, and that's a pretty high caseload. Judge Cure and I uh, have the highest caseloads of all of the judges in the county. Along with that come protective orders and also civil cases, some cases that are very complex. Sometimes we're appointed as special judges, not only in this county, but in other counties. And in all of those cases, we have to, as she said, be prompt, make, make decisions that are thoughtful, but also weighing everyone's rights. One of the things that I support and have been a proponent of is mediation. I am a huge fan of mediation and encourage people, especially, especially if they're self-represented, to go to mediation. Now, that doesn't mean I'm shirking on my responsibilities. I have no problem with telling people what they're supposed to do, if it comes to that. But 
I think that people have a vested interest in in what they're doing, and they feel that they're part of the process if they're allowed to participate in the mediation. So that's one of the things that I think is extremely important, and one of the things that I should do in my role as judge is encourage that kind of thing. Uh, when I ran before, I told everyone that I was, I had been a mental health counselor for about 20 years. I was a prosecutor for about 17 years. I was a, an attorney in the public defender's office for about a year and a half. I think all of those things have contributed to my being a good judge and respecting others, respecting their feelings, listening, being a conscientious listener, and being fair and let, letting everyone have their say. I am asking that you continue your support for me. I will continue to be conscientious, and I ask for your vote. I'm Valerie Houghton. Thank you all so much.